Hello guys, this is Nick for another episode of Let's Play a speedrun of Final Fantasy 7. Mm, as you see, I have some times that I've already recorded before when I practiced the run. And look at that, I was at Shinra building at 1 hour 35 minutes on once on a run. I've practiced it... Um, uh, no, I didn't practice it. I, I, I've tried a new way to record, but it didn't quite work. And I did a hundred uh, and thirty-two minutes. A uh, hundred, an hour and thirty-two minutes. So I'll try to beat that on this try. So yeah. So we can get it started now. I think. So okay, let's go. So it should not take me too long to... No, never mind. This sentence... I had no point in this sentence, anyway. It should take me about 19 minutes to finish this part. And the Reno fight is really easy and not long at all. He only needs 8 grenades to die and that... Not to die, but to escape, and that's it. And there he goes. I'm gonna use... Um, a limit for Cloud and Sifa because because if I want to break the the pyramid, I need to to attack it, obviously. It might save me some grenades if I just attack, if I use limit breaks, so... And they just don't care about this py pyramid because he's done. Okay, it's time, I need to go, yeah. I know you're just afraid to fight me. Boom, and there, there he goes, he jumps down. And but I survive. It's not a normal time bomb. That's right, you'll have trouble with that one. Please stop it. Wow, what a son of a bitch. He slaps her. In the face. Right in the kisser. And now look at that. They're still standing on the side of the helicopter while they're escaping the, the pillar falling down. That is... That is quite interesting. Yo, we can use this wire! 
and there you saw I, I talked to Barrett as soon as the the zoom in uh, appeared and that's what you need to do because it's gonna run straight to the to the wire in this way you you lose less time obviously and now uh, sorry guys but there's a boring part coming with um, only talking and by that I don't mean me talking but yeah that's gonna resume to that sorry I don't know any good jokes to pass the time because pretty much all you need to do here is press okay 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 hmm everything is destroyed But I'm quite excited because the end of Midgar is coming soon. And that means finally some boss fights. And I'll get an idea of what my final time could be. Because if you reach like um, Midgar under the two, ha two hours and a half mark if you can reach Midgar under that you can have a time at about between 10 and 11 hours for the run it's not that great because I know that the world record official is about 7 hours 40 something minutes done by guess who Japanese people oh yeah these guys rule but anyway, it's just impossible to do. They're just machines, robots. And I have to do a shout out to Garland the Great because he is the one I, I watch the most for Final Fantasy VII videos. And he's been doing his own speedrun on YouTube for a while now. He started, I think, four years ago, and he's not done yet. Because he's, like, putting so much effort in it, and he wants it to be perfect, and he just gets pissed off about his run sometimes. Because he's, like, he can do the same segment over and over again for hundreds of times if he feels it's not perfect and obviously that's how you get a good time and since I'm, I'm not doing that I don't deserve a good time and I won't have one but it's just to show how you can manage to pass the game in quite a, a low time and it's gonna show you guys some techniques that you might not know to pass the game. Some mechanics and some... Uh, anyway. Some methods you would not think about to pass the game. Oh, and here... The Iris theme song. Oh yeah. That's here we are now. And now the fake mother 
The adoptive mother of Ares. El Elmira? Elmira? I don't know how you pronounce that. Anyway, she tells a story about how she found Ares when she lost her husband to war. And there you see Jesse and, and Biggs running around the the pole like we did when we were kids but them they were not kids well they were but they didn't look like kids because if Ares was a kid back then that means Jesse and Biggs were cry were quite small as well but there they look just exactly just the same and there do you see the girl taking in her arms the, the fat guy and and turning around with him I mean how the hell would she do that she's like thin she she looks really thin and small and I mean no muscles on that girl she doesn't have any muscle and yet she is able to to lift off the ground a, a big fat guy I mean avalanche wake up there's your next member right there go take her and go crush the Shinra with with this girl I mean come on if she can lift about 300 pounds like that imagine with a little bit of training what she could do Anyway, enough talk about this girl. Oh, look how cute is the little heiress. Haha, <laughs> she fell on the ground. And there was nothing to make her fall. Haha. Pow, pow, pow. so sad is it me or is this game wanna make us cry with this song I mean I'm sure that 75% of people that ever played this game had a tear in the, in the eye when this song played at a moment or the other and when I mean the other you know what moment I talk about Hey, yeah, that moment. If you don't know what I'm talking about, well, you didn't play this game at all. Because we all know what happens later on with this song. Hmm. And there we finally find out that Ares is, was cut because of Marlene, so Marlene is in this house. And what's funny, while when you play fast, is that boom, you can just go outside. Yeah, you guys didn't know that, I didn't you? Yeah, usually you just go upstairs with Barrett and you go see Marlene. But right now, look, did he, he have even the time to go upstairs? to go see Marlene? I don't think so, he was walking. And when I, I walk to go upstairs, I'm not going fast because you walk. So I don't even think he had the time to go see Marlene. What a poor father. And now I'll have to do some shopping to buy a few more grenades before I go on. There we go. I should be fine with that. And now we need to go to Walmart again. So we are doing the same damn path we did so many times. I know you can do all this path without getting a fight. And I hope... Oh, no, it didn't happen. 
Because I know you can do all of that without getting a single fight. But there, it wouldn't not, it wouldn't happen. And there, you don't want to take this materia. It's only a sense. And what the fuck do you want to do with a sense on a speedrun? I mean, come on. You don't need this materia at all. And here in Wall Market, you want to go in the only shop we didn't go yet, which is the weapon shop. But you don't want to talk to the guy right in front of us, you want to talk to this guy working on I don't know what, and you buy him batteries, and there we off we go. Follow me, I, I saw something awesome! And no, you cannot pass these fucking kids. And... Yeah, that's it. And by the way, does anyone know what's written on this wall? In red. I mean, look at that. For me, it looks like A-V-E-R-L-E. -E. Is that even a word? a, -A verly I mean, come on, what does Everly mean? Everl? Everly? Oh, I just have no clue. Look at that, no mercy, that's clear. No mercy for the enemy! That's clear, but Everly... Is that a word? If it is, just type down in the comment what that means, because I have no clue. I don't know this word. Maybe if I put the battery... Yes, put it, go! Come on, come on! <sighs> and this battery must not... Must not, must not... Must not be strong, because look at that, it makes the problem work but it stops right away and by pure magic it's gonna stop right where you need it to stop ah god video games that's why we love him oh damn I won't have time will I? No, it's already too close. Oh yeah, first time, for on the first try, yeah baby. That, I have no credit with all the practice I had. I remember when I was a kid I could try this like 20 times and I was like, how the fuck do you pass this? I, at that time I didn't read English well because I'm sure you could, you can tell it, but I'm not English. So when I was a kid, I didn't read English, I just passed all the text. And I didn't know you had to jump when it was close, so I just jumped whenever. And... I failed, literally. But when I started to read English, and I did the game again, I just said, oh, that's when you need to jump. But anyway... We'll stop talking about that, and we are now at the Shinra building. And I'll try to finish Midgar as soon as possible, like I said. Like, I think I'll just do it tonight. And I'm gonna save right there. And on the next segment, we'll bust in and kill many people. So yeah. Boom! It was Nick, and this was another episode of Let's Play a Speedrun of Final Fantasy VII. And comment, subscribe, rate, and yeah. See you guys next video.